I don't know if you can guess what we're about to do today. Woohoo! Pizza test! Very excited. It's gonna be lots of fun. So let me get you set up. So you have a, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. This is not happening the way it needs to happen. Ish. Come here, you little tomato. Welcome to another episode of What's in My Kitchen presented by Hexclad. Today we're going to be doing pizza toast. And I just wanna start off by saying that I am very aware that I'm not the first person to ever put pizza toppings or ingredients onto a piece of toast. But I just wanna give my backstory on how I came to this little recipe. I was at home one day and I was high because I smoked weed, which disclaimer is legal in the state of California. So I can do that. And I got really hungry, really needed a snack. So turns out I had tomato sauce in my cabinet, tomatoes, sourdough bread. I had some truffle oil and I had some Parmesan and mozzarella in the fridge. So I thought, hmm, what would sound so good right now? Pizza. Let me just throw together my little version of pizza on a piece of sourdough bread and see how it tastes. And it turned out so delicious and amazing. So then I just stuck with that way of doing it. There's a couple little added things, little twists. So I'm going to show you step-by-step step how I do my version of pizza toast. Before I get into the toast, the bread, I'm first going to prep my tomatoes because I like to kind of marinate the tomatoes a little bit. I actually make this snack all the time where I just do sliced tomatoes. I do lemon juice, olive oil, salt, pepper and I literally just eat them like that. It's super delicious. So I'm gonna slice my tomatoes first. And this is my beautiful favorite hex clad board and my hex clad knife. And I'm gonna slice the day away. Now I'm only making two pieces of toast just for the sake of time and efficiency. So I don't need that many tomatoes, but maybe I'll just slice some extra so everybody here can have a taste. Okay, so sliced tomatoes. Now I'm just finding the right lemon. I really love this little dish. Lemon juice. I like things really kind of pungent and acidic and sour, so I'm gonna do both sides. Okay, so lemon juice, olive oil. Salt, pepper. You can also do this with like balsamic vinegar or you can do it with um, regular vinegar, which is also really good, but the lemon is pretty acidic on its own. So this is what I do while I'm cooking is I just keep picking. Mmm, it's really so simple and so good. Anywho, the tomatoes are going to just sit in their little sauce. I'm gonna put those to the side. And now I'm gonna get started on the actual toast of it all. So I have two slices of sourdough bread. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take some truffle oil and truffle oil is really powerful, so I try to be really careful not to overdo it. So I put it in a spoon and I kind of just like, well, that's not enough, but drizzle it on one side. I love the smell of truffle oil. So then I flip it over, do it on the other side. And then I'm going to butter both sides pretty generously without like over overdoing it because you already have the truffle oil on there. So you don't want the bread to get like really oily and soggy. 
bread is prepped. So I'm gonna just throw it in this uh, hexclad frying pan just to get it crisped and crunchy. I am someone who like flips things with their fingers, which is so stupid because I've burned myself so many times, but let me try to not be crazy today. Hear that? Yeah, that's the sizzle you want. And then I just keep flipping it to like, I just don't want it to burn, so. Just being careful. I like really crispy, crunchy toast. I don't want like soggy bread. All right, that's looking pretty done. This one definitely is. I'm just gonna take it off. Now I'm gonna set it aside because it needs to just cool down a little bit. And in the meantime, I'm going to start slicing the cheese. So this is regular mozzarella. And you can use regular mozzarella, you can use burrata. I'm actually gonna do a little combination of both today, but I'm gonna start with the mozzarella. So the first time I ever made this, I put down the sauce first, like a normal pizza, and then put the cheese on top. What I did realize doing that is it makes the bread soggy. So what I started doing after was putting the cheese first, letting the cheese get all gooey and bubbly and melty. So slicing up the mozzarella. So take our first piece, line it up with the mozz. You got another one in here? Oh. That felt so gross. Just needed a little bit more. Beauty. Okay. So that's all good. I'm gonna now put it on here. My convection oven right now is at 355. And I don't really have a time because I just eyeball it. Basically, it's just going in there to melt the cheese fully. I'm gonna take my Carbone roasted garlic sauce and I'm gonna put it into pot. That's way too much, but maybe I'll make pasta later. Okay, now we just wait. Maybe eat another tomato, you know, just for good measure. See what I mean about the cheese falls through the cracks, so you kind of just have to be aware. Smells so good. Now we continue the prep. So, tomato sauce. Eyeballing it. Gotta be able to eyeball it when you're cooking. All right, so the tomato sauce on top, just to make it extra yum. I am going to add just a little bit of burrata on top, but just a teeny bit, because, you know, burrata is a very wet cheese. And like I said, you don't want to like overpower the, the bread. Very messy. Now what I do is I get my marinated tomatoes and I kind of just lay them over top. And then right before it goes back in the oven, big Parmesan girl over here, so. I'm making a mess. I used to cook at home and then leave a mess and my mom would get upset because she was always the one cleaning up after her children. Sorry, mom. I just really want to get like a lot. There we go. I'm gonna put my extra scraps here that I have into my composter. Just trying to keep my station clean. You know what I mean? On three, everybody say yes, chef. One, two, three. Yes, chef. There you go. Mm-hmm. Looking good. Just gotta wait for that cheese to get melty. You'll know when the cheese is like melted to the way that you want. 
Oh my God, you guys. I think that looks good. It's really like it's bubbling and sizzling. So let's say it's around six minutes to get it all the way melted. Okay. So obviously you have to let it cool down a bit. It's a little hot. I'm just trying to prep the perfect bites. Gotta let it cool down or you're gonna definitely burn your mouth. I will say my biggest tip, like I said in the beginning, is that you should try to find whichever slices of bread with the least amount of holes and bubbles. Or just use a bread that's not as like, holy <laughs> as sourdough, you know? All right, here we go. Really good. Oregano and chili flakes. Holy shit. It's really good. It's always a great episode when I look around and all the food I made is completely gone, eaten by everybody here on set. Thank you for another great episode. This was a lot of fun making pizza toast. And I also wanna say a special thank you to our partner Hexclad who made a donation to the Axion Opportunity Fund, someone that we work with at the Road Futures Foundation. So I'm very grateful for that. The donation will be going to support women who work in the food and service industry. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell, and keep sending me recipes that you wanna see. I'll see you next time. They wanna eat the pizza toast? Yeah, putting cheese on your forehead is also, also part of the process. Not even stoned, but something I really, really, really enjoy is literally just eating um, kimchi out of the jar. Just gonna sit here and stare at it till it's done. Go faster!